Hi guys, welcome to this video on cadmium. Now cadmium is found only in red stars, so this is a system specific element. And as you can see, when you're on the galaxy map, all your stars are different colours, they're all colour coded. So that is as easy as it is to find which one you're looking for. Uh, there we go, it's a red one, we've got a blue system just behind us there. Some more reds and blues around, not many greens around at the moment. So let's uh, pop down to the planet here. There we go, there's only this one planet in this system. And as you can see on the planetary scan, right on the second one down, you've got cadmium listed as a resource on the planet. So let's go and have a look and see if we can find some. It's going to be a cold one, cold planet today, put the heat on, let's see what we can find. and park ourselves somewhere. I oh, can't see an awful lot of anything. This looks like a good spot. Let's just drop there. So cadmium again is used in the manufacturing of um, certain items. So you've got your uh, Atlas Pass actually. Uh, the V2 Atlas Pass you will need, I think it is 200 cadmium and the microprocessor for that. So if you do come across the cadmium, definitely mine it out, keep a hold of it. Um, let's have a look and see if there's a deposit anywhere near us. Uh, sodium, we don't need that. Frost crystals down there. Um, What's that one over there? More sodium. Dioxide, that's a cold world specific element. Dioxide. Hey, there we go. So that's a little trip away. So I'm just going to bounce over here and I will meet you guys over there. Hi guys, so as you can see we've reached the cadmium deposit. Now it's pretty easy to spot from the air if you're skimming over the planet's surface. It's bright red, you can't really miss it. And again if it looks a little bit familiar that's because it was called rubium in the previous update. So what we're going to do is just pop down there and have a little mine and see what we can get from it. And I'm going to go through some of the uses of it with you. There we go. So you're going to need your terrain manipulator to mine it out as usual. And so let's just get started on this. So cadmium has a fair few uses. It's probably one of the more useful uh, resources that you can get. Again it is system specific so we're looking at our red systems for this one. And it's used to refine chromatic metal and it's also used in your hazmat gauntlets, your mine dark and a lot of the exocraft, exocraft modules. It is used also in the Sigma freighter warp drive and warp shielding upgrades. And let's just try and get this last little bit out. And there we go. So if we go to our inventory here, and uh, there it is. Not quite as valuable as indium. Uh, it's 234 units per piece. Now what I'm going to do is just very quickly show you um, exactly what happens in the little portable refiner. Now if you don't have one of these, 
please make one and take it with you. You will find it invaluable. It's gotten me out of more than one sticky situation. So if we just pop the cadmium in here. There we go, and as you can see, on a one-to-one -one scale, it allows you to refine it into chromatic metal. So one-to-one -one just means that you get the same number of chromatic metal as you would do cadmium, so you get 138 out that side as well. Now, there are activated versions of the cadmium and the emerald and the indium and copper. Now, these activated metals they actually give you a higher scale so i believe it's one to three so you would actually get three parts of chromatic metal to each one of the original resources which is obviously on a much better scale for you so that's a little bit about cadmium and where to find it and what to look for and that's us done for now uh, we're going to take a look at emerald next okay guys bye for now